We quit our jobs and tomorrow we're gonna start the most amazing adventure of our life. For the next six months we're gonna be traveling all over Europe. We are going to travel by airplane for the next coming two months starting tomorrow. Visiting new places, meet new people, learn about different cultures, find hidden gems, explore the nature, waterfalls, caves, mountains, animals, and of course, we're gonna find the best food. Coming January 2024, we're switching things up and we're going to live in a camper van experiencing camper van life. Super excited, just a tiny house on wheels, like a dream coming true. We are going to share our best moments and laugh at our worst failures. What is the name? of the first country well we're gonna keep that a secret until tomorrow how are we gonna do it the truth to be told we're not exactly sure but that's okay i mean think about it these crazy spontaneous moments are the only one that makes you feel alive and the only one you're gonna remember when you grow old the clock is ticking we have 12 hours left to catch the first flight and we still didn't pack yet the bags are here but they're empty so let's start yeah Filling up the bags, of course, boys go quicker because uh, <laughs> I need to make decisions. What am I gonna bring? This one or another dress? Almost my backpack is full. I still have a lot to go. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit all these. This is my drone, the camera, microphones, the GoPro, laptop, tripods. I fit already one tripod in this bag and the GoPro. Tomorrow we can just wear five layers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're planning to wear like multiple t-shirts and multiple pants. <laughs> Probably you have to do it. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> I'm so anxious. You woke up at 5:30, and it's now 7:30. Yep. How about you? <laughs> I'm tired. Three hours to catch the plane. No, we have to go in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We have to go. We just woke up. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Nineteen point three. We had to switch up some stuff from this bag to this bag. Her bag was 21 kg, so we had to transfer stuff from her bag to my bag because mine is smaller. But I had only 16 kilograms or 17, something like that. On the first checkpoint, they swapped my bags inside out. I don't know why, but maybe because I have the all the cameras and the drone and the microphones in one bag. And I think that's the reason why they swapped the bags inside out. Plus, I forget the drone has three batteries. I took them with me by accident. I forgot to put them in the big bag. But thank God they didn't make any problem. I was like, for instance, when we were there, I was like, holy sh**. <laughs> My batteries, like they're in here, three big batteries. Yeah, I guess we were lucky. Yeah, because like power banks are not allowed because of the batteries. Guys, we have a problem. I don't know if I can enter the country that we're going to visit. We were checking the embassy website of the country and I'm not so sure if I am allowed to enter with my passport to this country. <laughs> she can get through with her Dutch passport easily. But if I can get, uh, if we manage for me to get through and we make it there today, yeah, we still have to worry about one thing is renting a car. It was a hassle. Yeah, like lots of scams as yeah, well. Yeah, so many scams. You don't even know what you get. They offer a car or something similar. Yeah. And when yeah. you see pictures, it's like rubbish. <laughs> yeah, and most of the cars, like they show you a really nice car and they say you will get this car or something similar. I mean, yeah, that's, the, that's basically the scam. You will not get this car. No, it, and we've seen so many videos on YouTube talking about these scams. Like, they thought that they're gonna take this car. They get another car. 
or like different one, older one. Yeah, and it's half broken. Yeah. And then you need to get the insurance because yeah. if you don't get the insurance, then they will just charge you for a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, and And also the insurance is more expensive than renting the car itself. Indeed. So it's like we don't know what we have yeah. to uh, what we have to do. We're gonna figure it out once we are there. Yeah. Well, and like uh, renting the car is like 300 euros, but the insurance is like 500 euros. Yeah. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> prices yeah we're gonna go there and probably search for a few shops and go uh, check the cars with our eyes to make sure yeah we get the deal that we want the car that we want plus no problems and no hustle moment of truth here look at this you guys look how many companies they are here for renting a freaking car <laughs> this is so popular here you see uh, yeah no problem you know. right. you give me your number i try to call you for the charter yeah yes. yeah all right we can give yes we bring the car yeah we go. yeah sure the car is here it's coming to the office there because we have another office outside. Oh, but it's a. Uh, is it through a different company now? Yeah, we have we have two companies. So I can help you with your big. Oh no, 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 sorry. And what is uh, what is your company name? It's uh, it's called Capital Car Rental. Capital Car Rental. Yeah. Yeah. So expensive here inside, and we have the office uh, in the background. Ah, okay. Behind the office. There are more offices here. It's in yeah. insane how many it's offices it's there are. So much expensive inside. Yeah. The price to take uh, the office inside. It's, so, it's really high. <laughs> I have this Volkswagen Golf 7. This? I'm starting from this. Oh, this one. Uh, so Octavia, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's automatic, it's better. Very cheap again. Yeah, we can check it when we can check the Just easy. Yeah. <laughs> and we can check the four. Yeah, but th those ones are small. Just check. It's, it's yeah, because you have a uh, big bags. Yeah, that's why yes. he <laughs> saw the bags and he said, I told him, I I heard that diesel is no, better. That's it's, uh, that is more small. And he said, yeah, diesel is better. So let's see. And then he called and someone said there is Ford Focus. Yeah, indeed. And then I checked it online. I still have it. Let me check. And he said, yeah, it should be like this. Ford Focus, diesel. Yeah. You check it? Yeah, well, because I searched the name. He said diesel Ford Focus. I checked it and I said no problem. If it's strong, to be honest, see maybe it. it's some uh, some misunderstanding from him because you know. Yeah, we, but, but because we saw those uh, Micra and Hyundai i10 for 400. We and have, we yeah, I don't need you here. <laughs> well, how? What is the engine size of this car? Uh, uh, four, I think 1.4. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for the help. You're welcome. Uh, and uh, uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, maybe see you again. Yeah, well. If you need some help, some suggestion, we are here. How what do it, you can do it? Please text to us and we help you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, I will drive it, maybe better. In the dark. If you want, I can drive it here. Yeah. Huh? If you want it, I can drive it here. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> We're finally in Albania. 
We had to struggle a lot with the car because we visited multiple offices. But then, um, yeah, the company Eurocar sent us to another uh, car dealer. They all work together somehow and they call and they promise stuff and yeah. It was different. <laughs> Everything was different suddenly. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff changing, but at the end we find, I guess, a good deal with a good company that looks reliable. I mean, we just took the car, this one. We didn't pay for it yet because we're gonna rent the car for a month and that's not the car that we want. <laughs> no, because they actually promised us a car from a friend which is another company and once we arrived at that other company he gave us a completely different car what we didn't agree on like everything was different yeah like we agreed on a diesel 1.5 or something and like a bigger car and he comes with this small car and we were like well this is not the car that we agreed on and he was like well there must be some miscommunication and yeah that's um the general story that we were a bit afraid of in the first place that you get scammed very easily here so um yeah it took uh, a while it took us a while to finally get the car we want but that was not available at the moment so now we got this car we're going to find our uh, apartment and yeah we need to swap the car um, yeah indeed we have to go to the left we will swap the cars tonight to or tomorrow left. morning yeah, at the end, no? No, this one, I think. Oh, no, at the end, yeah. Well, and This one the is stop. the way back, yeah, yeah, indeed. So, we got an automatic car. I'm all, all the time trying to go to the gear. To change the <laughs> gear, but it's not working. But how do you get out of here? Yeah, I think you just need to you go. You just need to go. And you... There's no lanes around So, there. there's no lanes. <laughs> People just to drive on the roads next to each other. How's the driving going? How many holes did we find in the in the road? Quite a, a few, right? A lot. <laughs> yeah. The road is plenty of uh, holes. People don't use signals a lot. You're just gonna find your way. You just go. So driving in Albania, we're actually it is fine, but it's not like driving in Europe. Like people can switch if there's only two lanes, like now. People can just cross over a bold lane, they don't care. Nobody really cares. That's yeah, true. and yeah, they signal and just go straight away. There is no like, there's no like rules, but it's not that scary. If you, if you just look and be careful more than normal, you will be just fine. Okay, but this is day one, so let's see what we think in a week when we drive through the mountains and stuff. Yeah, indeed, this is day one, like this is first expression. We are in Tirana, which is the capital city of um, Albania. Yeah, and let's hope the car uh, rental will have no problem with it. Indeed. We actually got a deal of 500 euro for medium car diesel 1.4. It's cheaper for gas and it's strong for the mountains and it's a big comfy car. And it's pretty good deal because we saw the same prices of 700 and 800 euro for one month But we got it for 500 which yeah. is like 17 euro a day with insurance and all the stuff that, ne that needed Yeah Because we couldn't find anything online and we tried to book online but there was always a problem Yeah, like don't book online because you get for sure scammed And you won't get the car that you will Indeed. see online You that's will for sure. get a different car, completely different even the guy explained it to us that that's basically how they work they put an image but you will never get that car and so, you need uh, to pay more actually as yeah, well for indeed. insurances and stuff that they don't actually indeed uh yeah they don't believe in like some insurances they don't even believe in and you have to for pay the tires but he said you cannot even we don't even have that insurance yeah and some insurance you need to pay for it because it's different than the online insurances so these guys you have to be careful about yeah but yeah that's the first day let's see tomorrow if they uh they will be reliable we didn't pay for this one yet and we're driving now but they have all the information about us and hopefully tomorrow or tonight we will get the other car as promised it's a new and good one and uh, yeah, hopefully after a month as well, when we return it, there will be no problem. 
like scamming or yeah you left here a scratch or something it seems uh, reliable and it seems official but no promises <laughs> right yeah this is the update uh, we're driving to the apartment that we actually booked and tomorrow we have a very exciting day but this is gonna be for the next uh, video yeah and uh, yeah that's gonna be episode 2 of uh, Albania we just finally arrived and this is our first apartment it looks so nice this is the bedroom closet fridge and everything needed and here's the bathroom I'm <laughs> Mike is inside um yeah the owners they just welcomed us they're super nice and also they uh yeah they said if we want to park the car and we don't find parking outside we can always park in their garage which is very nice of them because parking here in albania is really hectic we are in tirana now I'm super hungry, we're super hungry, we're super tired, and yeah, driving is not that easy, <laughs> and yeah, people just drive a bit crazy here, and it's too small, too, uh, like, very narrow roads, and uh, holes everywhere, nobody cares, everybody go, <laughs> so, I mean, this is the way, and you respect it, but yeah, we just have to adapt, because we're living for a month here, and that is the toilet. This is your friend, Michael. That's the toilet. Seems nice with the shower, big. Very nice. And uh, yeah, it was like 25 euro a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we took a three nights in here. It was like 25, 26 euro a night. Not that expensive. No. Super it's nice. It's so no, big, right? <laughs> Here. Here's our uh, 180 wow. centimeter. It was, that was, it was rocky. one hour drive from the airport to here, but I think on a normal day is like 30 minutes. Well, I think at the end we spent more than an hour because the road kept changing. Oh my god! We just ended up in dead ends and. Google yeah. Maps doesn't work in Albania. No. This for you guys. You have to know Google Map zero in Albania. Yeah. You Google Maps say go left and you look at the left, there is no left, there is like a house. <laughs> and then Google Maps says go right and then there is like a red sign, big ass red sign, it says you cannot go there. Yeah. And then it the says time. go there and then it's a blocked road. Like yeah. we we turned around the place to find the apartment like four or five times Google map changing until we arrived because it's like blocked yeah, road or house did. built here. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's like it's not non updated. Non-stop traffic jam basically. Yeah, and in the city at least. Yeah, crazy, right? Like two lanes, four cars are driving yeah. next to each other. There are two lanes, lanes like <laughs> scooters, bicycles. Lanes. Everyone drive on the same lanes. Yeah, indeed. People just cross road. Nobody. Yeah. Super happy that we arrived. Yeah, it's we're nice. We're so hungry also. It's like survival mode on. We're not complaining. It's fun to experience something new at the end of the day. So. Yeah, it was just the first day is always a bit like traveling. Yeah. You need to arrange stuff and you don't know where you're going. Yeah. And like it's... where, what the city is, what to expect. Yeah. So, um, yeah, now we can uh, start enjoying. Very, very nice. That's my chicken breast grilled. And that's mozzarella cheese with honey. Yeah, no, it's feta cheese. Baked with honey. Super nice. Look at this, you guys. Freaking awesome. <laughs> this is sick. I love chocolate. Pizza with Nutella, this strawberry, This is pizza, banana, by the way. This is pizza. Kiwi. Slice of pizza. Super nice. 